Hey everybody, this is Terry over here at Hidden Hollow. Um, getting ready to embark on a whole new adventure. Oh, man. <coughs> so as you can see, I took out a big board. <coughs> I'm coughing up feathers. I took off a big board that separated my law from my Belgian Platniks, Splash, Dash, and Flash. And <coughs> my... <coughs> My Jansons. <coughs> I was told these Jansons never flown before. But I will say, <coughs> look at this. 10, 11. <coughs> All my new babies. These are courtesy from my buddy Adam. And I'm not sure what the other guy's name was. <coughs> At Cumberland Valley Racing. <coughs> Dang. I really inhaled some feathers doing this stuff. Um, these are all 2019 young birds. Look how pretty these guys are. Look at these, what they think, mealies. Look at the red bars, the flight splash, flight splash. This one I called bald eagle. She's older, she's a breeder. Um, I'm supposed to be getting her nest mate, or I guess her boyfriend. Look at these silvers. And of course you know all the Jansons. Look, I'm going to be honest, I've got too many white birds. Yes, they're slow, a lot of them take their time. I'm at the point now, I really want to fly some birds with some sense that are in a hurry to get home. So I'm going to start training these birds hard. I'm not going to lie, I'm getting ready to start kicking them out, making them do some stuff. Most of the time they go outside, they land on the house and they hang out. Well. I'm going to let the Jansons get accumulated, acclimated, accumulated. There's my little baby chicks, they're growing up, ain't they? Let them get acclimated. I'm going to start loft flying them. As soon as I see that they stay, there's another one right there. As soon as I see that they stay around, I'm going to push them hard. I'm at the point now, I've got so many whites. I'm sitting on close to, close to 70 of these white birds. And some of them are good at getting home. I have lost a few this year already pushing them. My second flight, everybody came home. One was a little late. I'm tired of it. It's about time to see what they'll do. I've got enough birds. And at the same time, I'm going to start training. <clears throat> I'm going to start training these young birds. I don't have a clue other than watching you guys. Um, everything from banding their wings to soaping them down real good, put them out for the first time. If you all have an idea, the best way I should do it like I said, none of these birds have been out before. Well, I mean, none of them have been flown before on somebody else's property, except for her. I call her Baldy because her whole head is white and she's got that color. Isn't that a pretty bird? I'm going to go into my five nest box that I've got up the yard right here. I've got five pair in there. I'm bringing them all in. This is my plan. I'm going to divide this loft in half and half of it is going to be just for my breeders which will be just older birds, older stock birds that I cannot fly. This, The other half of this and the whole front of the loft is going to be for flying birds only. These are some good looking birds and I'm going to start training them, I'm going to start pushing them. I haven't got into a race yet this year because most of it most of the races they're having right now are older birds, and I don't have none except for these white birds, and I wouldn't put the money on them. You know, they're always slow. Sometimes they're days late. And the white ones are for release business. If I just do veterans funerals, it'll be worth it. But I'll, I need to have a good amount of, amount of birds to do it. <clears throat> I've been watching Pauly on the go loft. He's had a great, great success with his racing birds. I heard he even won a race. Wow, that's great. I will say that a while back when I did the video on uh, the lost bird, the bird came from my bu my buddy uh, Mike over to CVR. Apparently this bird had gotten out and nobody knew about it. And he flew 22 miles from his house, never flown before. And I've got her over here in my other loft. And I'm going to put her out with these guys because he won first, second, and third with the same bloodline this past weekend. Now we're going to go back up Friday night. 
I haven't done a video up in there. I don't know how the guys would feel about it if I did, but I'm going to ask them because it's part of me. It's part of what I do. And I hope that if they're going to accept me, they'll accept Hidden Hollow Loft on YouTube. But I think that these Jansons, when it comes to flying and being strong, because granted, they, they, they seem to have a bigger, stronger body than my other birds. Even though I love my other birds and I appreciate where I got them from a whole lot. My buddy Running Water really hooked me up. But he also knows these birds were meant to fly and I'm going to do them justice. Same with these silver birds. God, they're beautiful. So I'm going to let everybody get acclimated. I'm going to leave this open. Right now I'm building a loft. I'm building a double loft for a friend of mine. Um, really good buddy. He's going through cancer treatment. He just went in for some big operations. I think yesterday they took all the staples out of him. And he's, he's the one that got me to go into this racing with him. Apparently his dad used to do it and he used to be in the same club when he was a little kid with, you know, his dad was and together I had two brothers that were in this club. So we're, we're going to do it. Um, mainly I like, I like to just, it's good because I have a friend around here that I can run around with and do this, do the things I enjoy and we're not doing nothing wrong. I mean, how, how many people can say that? How many of y'all got a good buddy that you go out and have a good time? You're not cheating on your wives, you're not running the bars, you're not stealing, cheating, lying, cussing. You know what I'm saying. These birds, they do bring a lot of people closer together. You know, my buddy Dave, last year we got together about some turkeys on Craigslist and started talking and found out he had roller pigeons. I said, I got roller pigeons. And now he wanted some homer pigeons. We were looking around. We've got some really good connections now. I love my birds of color. I love all these colors. We were in this loft the other day, and you know, he's telling me, <clears throat> I don't know how you deal with it. I don't know how you can tell one bird from the next when they all look the same, don't they? And he's in his loft yesterday and today, pointing out birds. Oh, man, I really like that blue bar, and this blue bird over here is doing this and this. I said, dude, how the heck can you tell these birds apart? To me, they all look the same. And he's, like, pointing out little things here and there, and I'm like, I don't know. But anyway, breeding season for me is about over. I could care less if I gain more babies. I mean, I've got three out there. These two big guys are hanging out. These guys are monsters. She's sitting on two eggs. This one wishes she was sitting on some eggs. Her and him. I guess that's a pair. I'm going to have to write their numbers down before I let them back out. You know what I mean? I think that'd be a good idea because when I break into this, well... I don't even want to do that right now. They can do whatever they want to do. Fly be free. I just want to start flying birds. And I want to fly good birds. So I'm going to look into the best ways to train these guys. I'll take any advice you guys can give me. Adrian P., I know you're going to jump in on this. Peter Ramen, hey. You're good. My buddy Paulie's good. Ham's Flight Kit Box, John over there, you know. I'm waiting for your, some, some of your insight. Because you've been doing real well. But that's the goal. The whole goal is, like I said, I'm gonna split this in half, probably where these boards are here, all the way down to the ground. <clears throat> we'll keep this piece of wire on here just, just because. This will be a fly through. I'll have all these perches for all my birds, and I'll have a door that'll lead into the breeding box area. So I only have good brood stock in here. That's all I'm going to have for the rest of the year. The ones that cannot fly, the pairs that I have that are bonded <clears throat> and do not fly. And if they, whatever they want to do, that's just fine. If they want to breed, breed. If not, you're still going to be right there because I'm going to open all this up. That is a pretty bird. Look at that. These are all 2019 young birds. Most of them are still squeaking. But I'm going to Start loft flying every one of these birds. Because all these do loft fly now and they all do trap. So these are a lot of my young birds this year. And there's some of my old my newer birds that I got just a couple weeks ago. Like I said, I might have lost one or two here and there of my new birds. I really don't think so. It <laughs> don't look like I lost anything, does it? Look at all these birds. Tell me I don't need to fly some birds. Time to thin out the herd. If you ever saw South Park when Uncle Ned took the boys hunting and there was protected animals 
that were illegal to hunt. They said they were allowed to shoot them only if they were being attacked. So these fools go up in the mountains and they got the boys with them, all kinds of guns and weapons. And they come upon a herd of deer and apparently the deer were out of season. And uh, old Ned and his buddy, his Vietnam buddy that had the voice machine on him, he, uh, they screamed, oh God, they're coming right for us. And hit him with a blowtorch and torched all of them. <laughs> but anyway, it's time to thin out the numbers. It's time to have nothing but good up in here. I'm tired of feeding just to be looking. It's time. Most of these guys, I've been flying all the boys. <clears throat> I'm getting ready to start flying the girls. They got a baby in there. There's baby right there. I'm sorry, she's got two. I thought she got two in there. She's got two in there, see? There's three more babies in here. Two babies in there, two more eggs in there. Only to you, but three, four, five. It adds up quick. What do you think? Isn't this great? My little baby stags, they're both little boys. They came from a buddy of mine down the road. I had some in my incubator. I got 64 eggs, game foul eggs in my incubator. Woo, I got some birds. What do y'all think? And after things go well, if you're really interested, you can contact me. I may be willing to sell you know, four or five pairs of these whites, just to thin it down a little bit. The Jansons, I'm not really gonna say because I've got two young Jansons in this group. I got those two in there, they're pure Jansons. And whatever comes out of those eggs out there, those are pure Jansons too. I uh, write the number down in the book so I know exactly who the Jansons are when I go back to look. My babies are doing really good. There's, they're getting big. There's that one right there, you see the double band. That one right there, you see the double band. There's 10 in here all together, including Flash and Dash. There's Dash right there. Splash's kid. I know y'all know who Splash is. Anyway, that's what's going on out here. I got it going on. Dunnyville Loft, B-Rod, Chicken Wired, Flying Dutchman, Racing for Christ. I don't know what y'all's problems are. You two boys need to step it up. Apparently, um, they're getting a little discouraged on their pages. And if, and we need to subscribe to them and give them some thumbs up. The boys got, the boys have got some good birds. I think there's this, you know, young boys, they're just getting into other stuff right now. And like boys do. I know when I was young, I wouldn't have time for this. Oh yeah. White House Loft. This guy has got a big loft and he's got it going on. Check him out while you're at it. The best thing about these birds is that some of these birds, they don't like the, the wheat that's in the feed. These birds pick up all the scraps. I don't mind having them in here. There ain't nothing wrong with them. Ain't nothing wrong with you guys, is it? Nope. They're not hurting nothing. But that's what's going on here at Hidden Holla. It's getting ready to change. It's getting ready to be a big deal. I've got three flight boxes, release boxes. Ain't no problem for me to snag up every single one of these birds and take them for a ride. But first, I'm gonna loft train these young ones. There's, I've got 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 or 15, I would say, young homing pigeons like this. When I say homing pigeons, I mean these guys. Not my whites, but these other guys. Look at that blue bar of white flight. That's a pretty bird. And these are all good bloodlines. I know where these come from. Anyway, that just sums it up. It's time for y'all to tell me how to do this because I don't want to screw up. I don't want to lose a lot of birds. <clears throat> but I'm willing to lose some because I know it's going to happen. At least these whites. Y'all have a great evening.